The jihad is only for da'wah. That is why when Muslims go and conquer the, the adjacent country, what do we do? We kill them all? No. The Prophet says, the first thing you do is call them to Islam. If they accept it, leave them. Khalas, they're Muslims. We go. We don't want your country. We don't want your uh, uh, land. We don't want your wealth. If they refuse, then tell them Allah obliged upon you to pay taxation, jizya. In return, when enemy comes and attack your country, you don't fight. We Muslims protect you. Subhanallah, for this little money, yes. And you enjoy sitting in your homes and in your country and live your life normally. But the ruling is for Sharia. Ah. So you do not open nightclubs, you do not uh, fornicate in the streets, you do not, no, Sharia ah rules. But you live your life, you marry, you have children, you enjoy your life. But publicly, Islam rules. If they refuse, then we have to fight. And if we fight you, then we capture you, you become our slaves, and we take your land, and you take where, because you refuse, I give you two good options. This is the strength of Islam, but nowadays, forget this, maybe in the, in the coming 40, 50 years when the Muslims become strong, as they're supposed to be, and they are focused and Islamically oriented. Now we're not Islamically oriented, we are money oriented. We want to live comfortably, have a good car, have a good house, have a good salary, and let everybody else die. I don't care. 